Hi everyone, I'm Michael and welcome to Mike Likes Robots, a channel about bringing the power of the cloud to robotics. Today I want to talk about AWS IoT Core, which is how I'll be connecting smart devices to the cloud, whether it's something as simple as a light bulb or something as complicated as a robot. To talk about IoT Core, I'm talking about what it is essentially, uh, how to connect to it and what you can do with it once you're connected. But first, we need to take a look at the cloud. This is the AWS Management Console. AWS is a cloud provider and the one that I'll be using going forwards. And what I want to show here is the kind of services that are available through AWS. If we open up the services menu, there's a whole list of categories of services that are available. Obviously, there's Internet of Things, which is what we're talking about with IoT Core machine learning, database tools. Uh, a big category is EC2 here, which is Elastic Compute. And that is being able to host your own VMs at a moment's notice in the cloud, be they tiny or fleets of large instances. There's also file storage and a whole host of other services. The point is that there's a huge amount of options here, very powerful options but they're all running on computers very far away in a data center. How are we supposed to connect something to them that's closer to home, such as a smart light bulb? So let's say we have two bulbs that we want to connect to AWS. The simple answer is AWS IoT Core acting as the gateway. Of course, there are other options, but this is a great one for what we want to do. Using IoT Core, we can take a bulb, connect it to Core, and start sending messages, like uh, temperature readings on a thermometer. That's sent over MQTT, which is a protocol that I can talk more about in another video. From IoT Core, that data can be passed to any number of services and pretty much anything done with it. The other direction is also possible with data coming from AWS and being sent down to another bulb which is the root, for example, of telling your smart bulb to turn on and off. So that's all well and good. That's what IoT Core is, but how do we connect to it? Well, to connect to it, there's two main parts. First, we need to tell IoT Core that our device exists. And second, we need to give our device the credentials it needs to connect. Let's look at part one. If we open the IoT Core console, we can take a look at the things that are available. A thing is a virtual representation of a real device. So a light bulb here could be representing a real bulb. From here, we can have a look at what kind of certificates it has attached to it, which is how you can authenticate with it. And through the certificate, what policies are attached, meaning what that thing is allowed to do, what data can it publish, what data can it subs subscribe to, and so on. If we wanted to create a thing, we'd go to things, create things, and then in our case, create a single thing. So let's say we want to create another light bulb. We give it a name like light bulb 2. These optional configurations we don't need right now. And the device shadow is another optional part that I will probably cover, cover in another video because it's really useful, but not in scope here. We'll auto-generate a new certificate and use the allow all policy, which is the most permissive policy. It just means allow anything on anything. We can create that as a thing and download the certificates from IoT Core. This isn't the only way to register a thing in IoT Core. We could also have a certificate already on a device, such as from a trusted platform module or TPM. And then we can register that in IoT Core and say, allow this device to connect. So that's it for creating a thing. Now we want to be actually connecting to IoT Core. This is a terminal where I've SSH'd into an EC2 instance that I'm pretending is the light bulb. I've downloaded the certificates into the certs folder here. And I've also downloaded the AWS IoT device SDK. 
This contains a number of samples, one of which I'll be using to show the device connecting. The script I'll be using is this pubsub.py. So if we run that, it will tell us the arguments that are required that aren't yet supplied. In this case, endpoint, key, and certificate. Now the endpoint, I have to look up from docs, so I'm just gonna use it from a previous command. So we insert the endpoint. We insert the key from the certs folder. And we give it the cert also from the certs folder. And then it connects and it starts subscribe, subscribing to the test topic and publishing and receiving messages. Hello world, one, two, three, and so on. After 10 messages, it disconnects. So that's proving that our, our EC2 instance acting as a, a device like a light bulb is able to connect and transmit and receive messages through IoT Core. So we have a thing in the cloud. We have a device that's able to connect to it. What now? Well, the answer to that is pretty difficult to answer. It's similar in my eyes to asking, what can a programming language do? The answer is pretty much anything you can get it to do. If you understand how the programming language works and how to use it, then you can make a computer do whatever you want. It's not a very satisfying answer, but it's true of IoT as well. Let's take a more concrete example. We have a robot and we want to be able to do things with it, higher level things, not just rolling its wheels, but being able to autonomously navigate or recognize people or capture data and offload it somewhere to be processed. That stuff we can do on board, sure, but it means a more powerful hardware on board and it means having to make it ourselves. If we instead connect it to the cloud and send that data up to the cloud, we're able to use it in whatever way we want. We can use SageMaker as a machine learning service to figure out if it's a person or what kind of an object it is. We can do more autonomous path planning. We can do remote control. We can host serverless apps that let us connect with our phone or with a desktop to control entire fleets at once. You can imagine that it scales more and more with the cloud. Imagine trying to hit the limits there. So, that is what IoT Core is. It's the way of connecting millions of devices, transmitting billions of messages, and making that bridge between the edge devices and the cloud to do whatever you need it to do. If you like this video, please let me know in the comments or any feedback you have on IoT Core as well. And hopefully I'll see you soon in another video.